While working on my ferrofluid project, I generated a lot of waste and a lot of dirty glassware. So what I wanted to do here was show how I dealt with the waste and how I cleaned everything between each attempt. In terms of waste, the major source was from all the water that I used for the reaction itself and in the washings. From a typical larger scale run like the one I covered in the video, this was the water-based waste that I was usually left with. The three beakers from the left all contain the original reaction mixture and the one on the right contained the water washings. When I originally filled all these beakers, there was a lot of magnetite floating around, but after a couple days, it had all sank to the bottom. Some of it also ended up oxidizing, which was why it kind of turned brown. I then just took each beaker, and with the help of a magnet, I poured the water down the drain. In order to pour something down the drain, it's really important to first be sure that there's nothing harmful in it. So you really have to know what's in there, and that it's not bad for the environment or wildlife, or even just the pipes. In this water, it was all leftover reactants and side products from the reaction. The major components should be ammonium chloride and ammonium oleate soap, but there also might be some oleic acid and maybe some trace amounts of iron. All of these are safe and the solution was already neutralized in the process, so it was perfectly fine to dump it. For me though, this was a pretty rare occurrence because I'm pretty much never able to pour anything down the drain. So even though it was perfectly fine here, it still felt a bit wrong to do. But anyway, after that being done, in each beaker I was left with a small amount of magnetite. I then used a small amount of water to combine it all into just one. Now at this point, I was actually pretty much done and the magnetite could have just been thrown into the garbage. However, like with all my cleanup videos, I got a bit curious about something. The oleic acid coating has a tendency to oxidize and I wondered what would happen if I added some 3% peroxide to it. So I added the peroxide and it slowly started bubbling because the iron was catalytically breaking it down into water and oxygen. I let it sit like this for an hour and it was definitely clumping up a lot more. However, it really didn't end up being as interesting as I hoped it might be. So when I got bored of it, I pulled it out with a magnet and I poured the peroxide solution down the drain. Then I poured in some more water to get rid of the bubbles. I think the peroxide definitely did something to it and it probably caused some of the leftover nanoparticles to aggregate. However, overall, it was probably pretty pointless. Finally though, this was everything I recovered and I could now just chuck it into the garbage. The second major source of waste was from all the alcohol washings. In the future, I'm going to try to use way less, and I think that it's actually possible to use less than a third of what I used for this one. In the end though, the amount that I used here still wasn't that bad, because it's very easy to recycle. I just let it sit for a while, and I waited for all the iron to settle out, and then I dumped it off into another container. This alcohol still has a lot of room to pick up water and excess oleic acid, so it can be used for future washes. When it does eventually get full of either of these though, I can easily just distill it. When it was still mixed with alcohol, I found that it was annoying to get out of the beaker, so I added some water. I then stirred it around to dissolve the alcohol, and I pulled it out with a magnet. Then when it completely separated, I dumped off the water. The magnetite now was a lot more clumped up, and I found that it made it easier to remove. There were probably many cleaner ways that I could have done it, but I decided to just scoop it out with a paper towel. I would normally do this directly over a garbage can, but for some reason when I was filming it, I decided to do it like this. This caused it to be even a bit more messy than usual, but it still wasn't too bad. All of this was then just thrown into the garbage, and now I can show you how I clean the glassware. But first, I just wanted to add that throwing coated magnetite nanoparticles into the garbage is legally fine, but there is some concern that it could be potentially harmful. Some organisms might not be able to handle it properly, and it can cause some problems. By leaving mine out for so long though, the particles all got oxidized and aggregated, and they were definitely no longer nicely sized nanoparticles. Also, the scale that I did this on was pathetically small, and my total waste from each attempt was probably something around 3 grams. In this process, every single piece of glassware that I used got covered in oily iron, and it really didn't like coming off. This was especially a problem when I started playing around with the ferrofluid, because that stuff really liked to coat itself on everything. So now in terms of cleaning, the first step was to wipe off as much as I could just with some paper towels. 
Then after that, I threw them all into the sink, which I'd filled with some really soapy water. The soap was able to interact with the oleic acid on the magnetite, and with a lot of scrubbing, I was able to clean off almost everything. However, there was always still a bit of iron stuck to the glass, and to get rid of it, I had to put it in an acid bath. This was filled with 10% hydrochloric acid, and it converted any iron or magnetite back to its soluble chloride form. This did sometimes take a while though, so I usually left it in there overnight. Then in the morning, I took them all out, and I washed them under the tap. In the acid, there was a small amount of iron chloride, so this did cause it to get washed down the drain. In large amounts, this would be a problem, but there's so little here and it's so heavily diluted, that it really isn't much of an issue. After washing it all under the tap, I rinsed everything with distilled water, and then I let it sit out to dry. Most of the time, this gave me really nice and shiny glassware, but sometimes, there was still a bit of iron left. When this happened though, I just had to put it back in the acid bath for another round. Now one thing that I kind of just glossed over was the big plastic container that I used for the reaction. I wasn't able to scrub it because it would scratch the plastic, so instead, I just used a paper towel. It was also too big to fit into the acid bath, so instead, I put acid into the container itself, and I used more paper towel to manually wipe it down. Then like with everything else, I washed it with tap water, followed by distilled water, and I let it sit out to dry. When it was done, the container was clean enough to do another round, but it was never as nice as when it started. But anyway, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this little cleanup, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. As usual, a big thanks goes out to all my supporters on Patreon. Everyone who supports me can see my videos at least 24 hours before I post them to YouTube. Also, everyone on Patreon can directly message me, and if you support me with $5 or more, you'll get your name at the end like you see here.